It's no news to comic book aficionados that as wild and unpredictable as the Marvel Universe is with its dynamic superheroes and supervillains, the Punisher is certainly not one to be taken lightly. This gun-toting anti-hero is no typical do-gooder type. The Punisher, aka the captivating Frank Castle, is a whole different breed. In a world where superheroes are expected to be shining beacons of morality, the Punisher challenges the status quo, walking a tightrope between heroism and darkness. While the likes of Captain America, Iron Man, and Black Widow may fight for justice with a hint of restraint, the Punisher throws caution to the wind and lets loose his trigger finger. He's a force to be reckoned with, surpassing even the ferocity of Wolverine and the unwavering justice of Batman. You could probably hold him on the same pedestal as Superman. The Punisher's character first appeared as a minor antagonist in the comic series of Amazing Spider-Man, but despite his unapologetically lethal methods, there's no confusion about which side of the hero-villain divide he falls on. The Punisher is feared for his ability to indiscriminately end lives whilst inducing massive collateral damage, which can shake both Marvel and DC to the very core. In this video, we'll dive into the Punisher's anatomy to understand what makes Frank Castle one of the most enduring Marvel heroes and live up to his namesake. So let's jump right into it, but before we do, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. Channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Was Frank Castle originally of Italian origin? The infamous Frank Castle has a lineage that stretches back to the sun-soaked Mediterranean island of Sicily, Italy. Baptized as Frank Castiglione, he was born to Catholic Italian immigrant parents Mario and Louise. Their journey led them to the shores of America, specifically New York City, during the 1950s, wherein their family name underwent an Americanized transformation, eventually becoming Castle. As mentioned in the 1986 five-issue run of The Punisher, written by Stephen Grant. While the exact details of Frank Castle's family tree may not often be explored in the contemporary Punisher lore, it is fascinating to delve into the parallels between his immigrant background and his portrayal as the ultimate outsider among other superheroes. Frank's Italian-American heritage runs deep within his veins. With his birth name actually being Francis Castiglione, it is worth noting that this iconic Marvel anti-hero is not only bilingual, but fluently speaks Italian alongside English. In fact, during the gripping pages of Punisher War Journal, he effortlessly switches between languages, employing his parents' native tongue to communicate with other characters, which only adds to the grittiness of his character. From his immigrant lineage to his bilingual abilities, these details add depth and nuance to the complex character of the Punisher, highlighting his connection to both his roots and his relentless pursuit of justice in the face of darkness. What does it take for the Punisher to maintain his muscular frame? When you are literally a living, breathing weapon, the topmost priority should be doing everything possible to maintain your body frame and keep it in shape. The Punisher has suffered and sustained innumerable injuries throughout the years. He's been on multiple quests which have absolutely disrupted his sleep schedule, and if that wasn't weird enough, to top it off, he maintained a sorry excuse for a healthy diet. Even after all the torture he puts himself through, the Punisher's muscular muscular frame can surpass that of a professional bodybuilding enthusiast. Whether he relentlessly works out to live up to these exceedingly unconventional expectations still remains a mystery to us. In 1989, Dolph Lundgren gave us a taste of the Punisher's impressive physique on screen as he personified the character to the very core of its resemblance, standing a whopping 6 feet 5 inches and weighing 250 pounds. It is really ironic how such an undisciplined lifestyle resulted in such a ravishing muscular frame, letting Frank Castle truly make a dent as the Punisher in the Marvel Universe. <laughs> How powerful is the Punisher? Unlike many of his mainstream superhero counterparts in the Marvel Universe, Frank Castle, aka the Punisher, possesses no superhuman abilities whatsoever. Surprisingly enough, this iconic spandex-clad anti-hero can't fly, manipulate elements, or see through walls. However, what Castle lacks in superpowers, he more than compensates for with his sheer tenacity and exceptional combat skills. Through his battle-scarred history as a military veteran and crime fighter, Frank Castle has proven time and again that he 
can hold himself like a fort even against the toughest adversaries. Whether using his own battered fists or his trusty arsenal of weapons, the Punisher has honed his fighting prowess to a level that rivals the best of them. Even without his preferred weaponry, the Punisher exhibits unmatched hand-to-hand -hand combat skills, utilizing anything at his disposal as a lethal weapon. Like Bullseye, he can turn seemingly innocuous objects into tools of destruction, showcasing his innate resourcefulness and adaptability. In addition to the formidable array of grenade launchers, machine guns, and knives that he wields, the world and all its seemingly inconspicuous accoutrements become a boundless arsenal at Frank's command, imbued with a power that can shatter the very foundations of his adversary's defenses. From a simple pencil to a humble coffee mug, each element of his surroundings becomes a lethal instrument in his hands, amplifying the sheer force and impact of his relentless pursuit of justice. No object is too insignificant as Castle harnesses the full might of his ingenuity and resourcefulness to turn the mundane into instruments of destruction, leaving his enemies in awe and trembling in the face of his unparalleled might. While Frank Castle is typically always armed with an array of firearms like Derringer D-32s, M60s, and Glock 17s, he's not limited to conventional weaponry alone. He possesses a keen eye for utilizing his surroundings and exploiting the weaknesses of his enemies. From using polar bears at the zoo to swiftly dispatching multiple attackers, Castle's efficiency in ending threats knows no bounds. Now, imagine a scenario where Frank Castle is injected with the Super Soldier Serum, just like Steve Rogers. In the alternate reality depicted in the Age of Ultron comic series, interestingly enough, Castle becomes Captain America, gaining all the superpowers associated with the serum. In this instance, he transcends his human limitations limitations and takes on the mantle of a superhero, using his enhanced abilities to defend and protect America in his own uniquely relentless and uncompromisingly badass way. So while Frank Castle may not possess inherent superhuman abilities, his exceptional combat skills, unwavering determination, and willingness to do whatever it takes to achieve justice make him one of the most powerful characters in the entire Marvel Universe. <laughs> What were Frank Castle's acquired superpowers after joining the Hand? The Punisher finds himself in a rather unique position when he's forced to lead the Hand, a criminal organization that promised to resurrect Maria, Frank's deceased wife, in return for him joining them. As a result, he was gifted with an array of superpowers by the Hand, which is popularly known as the Gifts of the Fist. The eighth issue of The Punisher really unfolds Frank's character under the influence of the Hand. After taking charge, he demands the release of the prisoners and then challenges them to kill him before his new powers are unveiled. Little do they know, Frank has been imbued with super strength, rendering their attempts to stab him futile. The Punisher proceeds to annihilate his enemies one by one, employing increasingly violent methods. He punches one man's head with such force that it explodes, and he tears another apart. The Hand's Arch Priestess observes his power and acknowledges his possession of most of the five gifts of the Fist, with super strength being one of them. Another of these gifts was the Eyes of the Beast, which granted Castle a form of clairvoyance, allowing him to see both the past and future actions actions of individuals, including the evil deeds committed in the name of Ares by a member of the Apostles of War. Castle could also sense hidden dangers like a bomb wired to a person's heart and locate criminals worldwide. The second gift was the Fire of the Beast, enabling Castle to unleash demonic energy. He was capable of imbuing a dagger with this energy, instantly killing adversaries such as Lord Deathstrike. Castle could also unleash blasts of fire in all directions, making him a formidable force against anyone facing him. The Marrow of the Beast was the third gift that enhanced Castle's physical strength and endurance. This demonic power allowed him to match the strength of the god Ares, deliver powerful blows capable of shattering heads and ripping bodies apart whilst lifting a grown person with a single hand. Castle's durability developed into such that he could withstand attacks that would turn others into skeletons and effortlessly shrug off the effects of deadly weapons like Black Widow's Widow Sting and Moon Knight's Crescent Darts. The fourth gift was the Healing Blood of the Beast, which granted Castle the ability to recover from injuries that would be fatal to an ordinary person. Although he still required some time for recuperation, Castle would survive being impaled with a sword without even flinching. Additionally, the last gift bestowed upon Castle was the power of flight, allowing him to hover and move through the air as seen during his altercation with Daredevil. 
Is the Frankencastle version of the Punisher the strongest? The Frankencastle version of the Punisher, as depicted in the Dark Reign storyline, showcases a unique and formidable iteration of the character. In the first issue of the Dark Reign The List story arc, we witness Norman Osborn, the leader of Hammer, commanding Dokken, the son of Wolverine, to eliminate the Punisher. Dokken carries out the task by gruesomely slicing Frank Castle into pieces, seemingly bringing an end to his life. However, the story takes an unexpected turn when Morbius, the living vampire, comes into play. Morbius gathers the remaining fragments of Frank's body and employs cybernetics to stitch them back together, resulting in his resurrection as Frankencastle. This transformation grants the Punisher a monstrous appearance, akin to Frankenstein's monster, but with the added ability to wield a powerful Gatling gun and even ride a giant dragon. As Frankencastle, Frank possesses a combination of undead physiology and cybernetic enhancements, making him a formidable force and a fiercer opponent. One notable aspect of this version is the acquisition of superhuman strength, though the exact extent of this strength remains undisclosed. With his deadly marksmanship and a physicality reminiscent of the Hulk, Frankencastle becomes a fearsome and deadly undead marksman. The Frankencastle version of the Punisher can be regarded as one of the strongest iterations due to his unique blend of abilities and the immaculate shift of power dynamics after Frankencastle is resurrected as a monster, truly marking it as one of the strongest versions of of the Punisher, as of yet, in the Marvel Universe. Exploring the amazing regenerative abilities of the Punisher. Frank Castle, the man of resilience, has built quite the reputation for shrugging off the worst of injuries. Broken bones, shots to the head, or even dismantled appendages, nothing seems to slow him down. Call it sheer luck or a top-notch health insurance plan, but there's no denying that his survival skills are out of this world. Frank's ability to bounce back from the brink of defeat is nothing short of extraordinary, leaving you scratching your head in awe. It's as if he possesses a hidden weapon spring of invincibility that defies all odds of a normal human's physiology. In various storylines and iterations of the Punisher, including Garth Ennis's Punisher Max series, Frank Castle demonstrates an extraordinary ability to regenerate his injuries, particularly his teeth. Despite enduring brutal beatings and having his teeth knocked out on multiple occasions, Frank's dental regeneration is portrayed as an amazing and almost superhuman trait. It goes beyond the normal capacity for healing and defies the laws of physiology. This ability allows him to regrow his teeth even after they have been completely or partially dislodged from his mouth. Throughout the Punisher Max series, it becomes a recurring theme that Frank loses his teeth during intense fights and encounters. However, in subsequent issues, his teeth have inexplicably grown back, often appearing perfectly intact and pristine. This remarkable regenerative ability is depicted as a unique aspect of Frank Castle's resilience, distinguishing him from ordinary individuals. While this dental regeneration is not a traditional superpower in the same vein as flight or super strength, it adds an intriguing element to the Punisher's character. It highlights his exceptional ability to heal and recover from injuries, pushing the boundaries of human physiology. Frank Castle's regenerative dental capabilities contribute to his overall reputation for survival and resilience, showcasing his ability to withstand and recover from even the most severe physical trauma. How did the Punisher's super hearing work? In the film Punisher Warzone, despite its rightfully perceived shortcomings, one aspect that stands out is Frank Castle's exceptional sense of hearing. It would be wrong not to consider his ability to perceive sounds in such an extraordinary manner as a superpower. Well, not on the same level as Daredevil's heightened senses, the Punisher possesses an impressive auditory awareness that allows him to be prepared for any potential threats. The film portrays Frank Castle as being exceptionally attuned to his surroundings, which enables him to anticipate and respond to dangers that may be lurking around corners, behind doors, or even through walls. Even the quietest of sneak attacks miserably fail to catch him off guard. This heightened sense of sound gives him a distinct advantage and prevents him from being taken by surprise by anyone or anything even miles away. It's unclear whether Frank's heightened hearing is due to his constant state of vigilance or if it's an innate ability, but regardless, it grants him a keen sense of danger. This acute sense of hearing allows him to be ever prepared for potential confrontations, giving him an edge in his relentless pursuit of justice. While Punisher Warzone may have received mixed reviews, the portrayal of Frank Castle's exceptional auditory abilities serves as a testament to his heightened awareness and readiness for any potential threats that may arise. Dude literally seems to be living in an eternal state of readiness.
How did a sociopath end up being as smart as the Punisher? With his lack of empathy, inability to form meaningful relationships, exuberance of violent and impulsive behavior, lack of a moral code, and inherent manipulative tendencies, Frank Castle checks out all the boxes for being a sociopath. Despite his sociopathic tendencies, the Punisher possesses a remarkable level of intelligence and tactical prowess that sets him apart from the rest of the Marvel crew. While he may be known for his brute strength and relentless nature, his strategic planning and careful execution of each mission are key factors in his success. It's important to note that Frank Castle's background as a Marine plays a significant role in shaping his tactical awareness. His military training instilled in him a deep understanding understanding of strategy and the significance of planning. This meticulous approach to his work distinguishes him from a reckless vigilante, positioning him as a true professional with a calculated mindset. Castle does not simply charge into situations without knowing how to navigate his way out. Instead, he takes into account every possible outcome and prepares himself accordingly. An interesting Punisher cameo was seen in the era before comic book companies became hyper-vigilant about copyright infringement. In the 90s, there existed a peculiar and captivating trend in comics, Marvel slash DC crossovers. Among these, Chuck Dixon's Punisher slash Batman Deadly Knights still manages to stand out. What made this crossover particularly memorable was not just the clash between the Punisher and Batman, but also the fight between Frank and the infamous Joker. The intriguing takeaway from this series was how the Punisher manages to instill genuine fear in the Joker, wiping that infamous smug smile off his face. Furthermore, Frank proves himself to be much more efficient and powerful, possibly even teaching Bruce Wayne a thing or two in hand-to-hand -hand combat skills. Additionally, the Punisher's tactical abilities make him a highly dangerous individual within the Marvel Universe. His knack for strategic analysis of any situation at hand has always given him an edge over his adversaries. Despite the dark path he walks, Castle maintains a disciplined lifestyle, abstaining from vices and focusing solely on his mission. His unwavering dedication to his cause and his strict adherence to his principles contribute to his effectiveness as a relentless force of justice. While he may not be the ideal role model for impressive Impressionable youngsters, given the trail of devastation he often leaves in his wake, the Punisher's blend of intelligence, tactical acumen, and discipline make him a formidable and dangerous presence. He may not be perfect, but his ability to outmaneuver and outthink his opponents solidifies his place as one of the most formidable individuals in the Marvel Universe. Can the Punisher feel any pain? Exploring his insane durability. It shouldn't come as a surprise that the Punisher exhibits an extraordinary ability to endure pain, suffering, and even life-threatening injuries. While he may not possess the dynamic invulnerability of characters like Luke Cage, Frank Castle repeatedly withstands brutal beatings and gunshot wounds that would incapacitate a normal human being. It's almost as if the dude possesses some sort of a superhuman resilience. Like, no matter how many sit-ups you do or benches you press, ordinary individuals would easily succumb to the excruciating pain and potentially fatal injuries when subjected to such extreme trauma. Yet, the Punisher emerges from these ordeals seemingly unfazed, demonstrating a remarkable capacity to rebound and recover. Even when subjected to unimaginable forms of torture, such as a power drill through the foot or being relentlessly battered by formidable adversaries like Barracuda, this iconic anti-hero manages to endure and persevere. One notable example of his incredible Incredible durability is when he is shot through the chest by Eminem in a comic series, an incident that would spell doom for most. However, the Punisher treats it as just another day at the office and continues his relentless pursuit. It is very much plausible that the Punisher has conditioned himself to withstand immense levels of pain, pushing his physical and mental limits to new extremes. His resistance to pain is so profound that he refrains from using even basic over-the-counter painkillers, because he believes that the temporary relief that they offer offer is outweighed by the potential drawbacks of drowsiness or compromised reflexes, which is an inherent shortcoming in his book. While the Punisher may experience pain, it seems to have a diminished impact on him compared to ordinary individuals. His unparalleled durability and threshold for suffering contribute to his fearsome reputation as an indomitable force in the face of adversity. Is the Punisher addicted to violence? 
For the Punisher, violence is not just a means to an end, but a form of self-expression. While he may abstain from illegal substances, his addiction lies in the act of inflicting pain and wreaking havoc. Some may even go so far as to call him a sadist. The Punisher not only thrives on the violence he unleashes, but heavily relies upon it to retain his sanity. Like every individual, Castle also needs an outlet for his emotions, and transforming a seedy underworld into a war zone seems to be his most preferred method. Frank Castle is far from being squeamish, and his indifference towards extreme acts of carnage really sets him apart. This dude is absolutely nonchalant towards the destruction he leaves in his wake, and he probably even enjoys parts of it. While this indifference alone does not classify him as a true criminal, it does place him in the realm of those who could potentially venture down that diabolical path. Regardless, his ability to remain undisturbed by scenes of morbid violence enables him to eliminate his enemies without hesitation. In this regard, he shares a striking similarity with Wolverine. However, unlike Wolverine, the Punisher is not invincible and his own mortality is ever-present in the aftermath of his brutal encounters. Nevertheless, he remains unwavering and unaffected by the gruesome sights he encounters. In essence, it can be argued that the Punisher has developed a certain addiction to violence, a dependency on the chaos and brutality that drives him to fulfill his mission. This addiction, combined with his unwavering demeanor, contributes to the Punisher's Herculean nature. Does the Punisher age? While the Punisher may have been introduced to readers in 1974 as a raven-haired vigilante in his 30s, his age and physical appearance have remained remarkably consistent over the years. Despite enduring countless battles and experiencing the toll of time, like everything else, Frank Castle has seemingly defied the natural aging process. Unlike mutants who possess enhanced longevity, the Punisher is really just a regular human being which automatically means that he should be aging like any other mortal. However, he appears perpetually youthful and devoid of any significant signs of aging. Castle has not acquired a single grey hair throughout his long history, except for specific story arcs like Marvel's The End, where his age finally catches up with him. The reason behind this agelessness remains a shrouded mystery. Perhaps it can be attributed to good genetics or the storytelling conventions of comic books, but regardless, the Punisher's agelessness adds to his enigmatic persona, allowing him to continue his vigilant war on crime without the limitations imposed by the passage of time. Is he still in touch with his emotional side, or is he absolutely insane? Despite the Punisher's sociopathic tendencies and inclinations towards violence, there are glimpses of humanity that remain within him. Instances like those witnessed in the Punisher comic book series, where Castle cracked a smile after being affectionately licked by a cute dog, showcasing that there is a glimmer of emotion left in the hardened man. Apart from this, throughout varied comic book iterations and adaptations, such as 2008's Punisher Warzone and the 2004 film The Punisher, we have witnessed moments where Frank Castle has displayed genuine emotions. Whether it's visiting the grave of his deceased wife and children, or experiencing the heart-wrenching loss of his family, these events evoke strong emotional responses from him. Although creator Jerry Conway initially intended The Punisher to be more of a hitman than a criminal, modern comics like Punisher Max have delved deeper into the character's psyche pushing him into a more vulnerable territory that can be clinically diagnosed. The weight of Castle's past experiences, including his time in the military and witnessing his family's execution, has left a lasting impact on him. The intricate portrayal of a post-traumatic stress disorder has been a significant aspect of the Punisher's storylines. He suffers from haunting visions and terrors related to his military service, and this condition only contributes to his violent tendencies. In various adaptations, including Netflix's The Punisher, showrunner Steve Lightfoot emphasizes the significance of exploring the character's struggles with managing extreme environments and returning to civilian life while appearing unaffected. The Punisher's emotional turmoil and psychological challenges are essential elements of his character, so while the Punisher may exhibit traits of insanity and harbor a propensity for violence, he's not devoid of human emotions or completely detached from his emotional side. Frank's traumatic experiences and struggles with PTSD shape his actions and mindset in his day-to-day -day life adding complexity to the character and highlighting the enduring presence of his humanity, albeit deeply scarred. Ah! 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 
Is the Punisher immortal? The Marvel Universe is brimming with superheroes with extraordinary abilities abound, but in this sea of distinguished superheroes with dynamic superpowers, the Punisher stands out as a gritty and grounded figure. While he may appear to be a normal human compared to the mutants or the likes of the Hulk or Captain America, there are legitimate hints which signify that Castle may actually not be mortal and instead possess a possible touch of immortality. One notable storyline that delved into the supernatural aspect of this enigmatic character was the Punisher Purgatory, wherein Frank Castle was seen transforming into an avenging angel. This limited series depicted Castle's resurrection from the dead and his wielding of heavenly weapons as he battled both demons and criminals. Although this particular story arc was not extensively explored, it left an impression on the character's history. Furthermore, there have been instances where the Punisher has demonstrated an uncanny ability to survive situations that would be fatal for others. His encounters as an Archangel and as Frankencastle showcased his resilience and resistance to death. While he never explicitly renounced his angelic powers, it was clear that Castle distanced himself from serving the armies of heaven. Yet, there have been indications that he retains some supernatural connection, with angels being drawn to him and other mystical entities recognizing his affiliation with a much higher power. There is only one possible explanation for Castle's resilience and immortality, which is the Bloodstone Fragment, a mystical artifact that grants superhuman abilities and immortality to its possessor. When the Punisher obtained the Bloodstone Fragment, it amplified his strength, durability, healing factor, and unleashed his rage to freakishly alarming levels. This gem also allowed him to foresee potential future crimes, akin to a one-man minority report. However, Frank eventually removed the Bloodstone from his chest, realizing the potential dangers of his batshit crazy rage and understanding that the world was not yet ready for a Punisher with such overwhelming powers. While the Punisher may still be considered a human hero with exceptional skills and survival instincts, the evidence suggests that he could possess an element of immortality or other supernatural assistance, even if he's not fully aware of it. I'm calling this in. Can the Punisher reproduce? In the overall Punisher lore, the portrayal of his sexual encounters or his intimate life is generally limited or non-existent, especially in the mainstream Marvel Universe or Earth-616. Frank Castle has always been portrayed as emotionally distant and single-minded, focusing primarily on his mission to punish criminals. Some writers, like Greg Rucka, have actually depicted him as celibate, with no active pursuit of sexual relationships. On the other hand, writers such as Garth Ennis have explored the Punisher's romantic and sexual life in titles like Punisher Warzone. In this series, Frank Castle develops a romantic relationship with Catherine O'Brien, resulting in the birth of a daughter. Additionally, in a different story arc under the Punisher Max series, which is a part of Marvel's adult-oriented imprint, Frank Castle's sexual life is depicted more explicitly. In this non-canon series written by Jason Aaron, the Punisher engages in sexual relationships. Notably, Castle also has a fling with an intelligence agent that results in the birth of a child. Furthermore, in the Marvel Now Thunderbolt series, the Punisher and Elektra are also briefly involved in a romantic relationship. It is significant to to note that in Jason Aaron's Punisher, the most recent comic series on the character, Frank Castle has had children in the Marvel Comics universe. He had two children named Lisa and Frank Jr. with his beloved wife, Maria Castle. However, their fate and current status can vary depending on the specific comic series and storyline. In this particular story arc from Punisher, Frank Castle is attempting to bring his deceased children back to life with the assistance of The Hand, a cult of deadly killers who possess mystical powers. Despite their efforts and the use of magical elixirs, the resurrection attempts failed to produce viable results. The Arch Priestess, a member of the Hand, explains that each failed attempt leaves less physical material to work with, and even the magic elixirs have limitations. Unfortunately, these attempts have resulted in his children being turned into nothing but monstrous creatures. Additionally, it should be kept in mind that the Punisher's ability to reproduce and the status of his children can differ in different comic series and alternate storylines. Marvel Comics universe is vast, and the portrayal of characters and their personal lives can change depending on the creative team and the specific continuity being explored, especially considering different interpretations by different writers. With this, we have more or less discussed everything there is to know about the extravagant physiological feats and anatomical details of this iconic anti-hero. 
Ultimately, the Punisher's anatomy represents a combination of exceptional physical conditioning, mental strength, and a relentless pursuit of justice. These factors not only contribute to his enduring popularity as a character, but also sheds light on Castle's ability to stand out among the diverse roster of Marvel superheroes. Don't forget to let us know in the comments below about your favorite quirk of the mighty Punisher.